Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to say, I'll pray to the Most High. He how by Shem, he how shall. By Shem, how for Dots. Tell the honor to the Apostle, the Elder, and the Prophet, who is teaching the word of sincerity and truth. Which may lines for freedom do so. To the hopeful elect. And to the confusion of faith, which join to our ranks. And to the Akim and Aqua that I listen and learning. To you, I say, Shalom. And the title of this lesson, you know, today is Christianity. Religion and Christianity is bugging out. You know, something to that effect. And the reason why I titled this lesson is because one of uh, GMS of South Carolina, you know, the brothers out there, they were doing the live stream. And, you know, that's how I was watching these brothers, from home, you know, at home, you know, doing, doing their live, live stream. You know, you had these uh, wacky tacky Christians. You know, they, they decided to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they decided to come out there and, you know, they decided to be, you know, they being rude and they were being uh, disruptive, you know, on the lesson. And, and this is what I don't get with these Christians. Man, these Christians, you know, they, they're bugged out, man. They're something else. And, and they, and, and you did, and, and what, what really bothers me it, it's not these Christians out here. You know, it was a, it was Edomites. It was out here trying to uh, trying to teach our scriptures. And the most I said in the word of us, what have you done to commit uh, to uh something to the faith? What have you done to you know to commemorate my statue, you know, something to that effect? Why are you taking up the word of the most high up in your hand? And, and the word of the most high condemns you damn devil, man. And this is how bud out Christianity is. And, and these folks are so, and these he, he might be so stupid that they, they, that they don't realize that, that these scriptures are condemning them. You know, they have no replacement of repentance according to Hebrews 12, 16, 17. You know, they, you know, uh, they ain't got no replacement of repentance. You know, Most High rejected them. And because Most High didn't want them. He didn't, he didn't choose them. He didn't want them. And, and so, they out here interrupting the brothers of uh, teaching. And, you know what I'm saying, making a whole bunch of noise. That, that was ridiculous, man. I'm like, these damn devils, man. They had no remorse on allowing these brothers to teach. And, and through spirit, you how about Jimmy how shy, you know, the brothers of uh, GMS South Carolina, you know, from Myrtle Beach. You know, those two brothers out there, they, you know, spirit was on them heavily. And you and you could tell, you know, they were they were cutting they were cutting them uh, they were cutting them Edomites up. They were cutting them wacky tack Christians up. Like there was no tomorrow. You know, and it's a beautiful thing that the power you how about Jimmy how shy is there with us. And you know, you Christians are finished, man. You know, I don't see, you know, you, you make a, 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 dish, a dish effort to try to demonize the people in your life. You know, you make a pathetic attempt to just demonize us all because of, all because of your Christianity, it has so many holes in it. It's like Brother Malcolm will say one thing time, you really got more holes than Swiss cheese. That's how, that's how, uh, you eat them like saw, that's how, that's how religion Christianity is. And then you had a, you had a dumbass Jake out there, man. You know, he's out there trying to preach against the brother, and he was getting cut. And, and the scripture says in Proverbs, in Proverbs, uh, no hand join the hand, they should not go all together unpunished. You know, meaning that, you know, that, you know, they, they, they join the hand with their enemy. And guess what? They're not all together going to be on punish. You know, Jay, Jay hasn't realized that the Esau is the damn enemy. All right? And, and Esau was the one that set up this plantation Christianity to keep you dumb and dumb down in his docile. To keep us from preserving your house by Jimmy house child. Yeah, Jay got there trying to go against his own people. And it's sad that that our own people go hard against one another 
But when it comes down to Esau, you know, that they, like they, they don't even go hard against Esau. They really don't. But they go hard against their own people. And, and our people so destroyed, it's not even funny. And, and you got these brothers, you got the brothers out there, you know, they, they find it being, they will, they edify, you know, they edify the body, wait for them to live, you know, like, you know, like they were called to do. And yeah, Esau coming on their horn, on, on the place they were getting at, they want, they want to be loud and all that. The only thing they did was they draw, they draw the crowd. And, and, and every person who stood there, and they bought the property out by Shimei out of shop. You know, you get you got more for death. You know, you, you just get more. And, 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 and it is what it is. You know, you said that you get more. If you ain't trying to and I'm to see his life, and you were there, you didn't turn back to y'all about Jimmy out of shop, and you sat there looking to be entertained, to be spectated, and you sat there marking them to be in a yacht about Jimmy out of shop, you just march yourself to death. You know, you, you just march yourself. And like I said before, you know, you Christians are finished, man. And, and, and it's, very, it's very funny that you Christians love. You Christians make a ditch effort to demonize us by, by, going, by trying to say that, you know, we're evil. And, and you know what I'm saying, we're a hate group and all this. And my question is, how we a hate group and we preaching out the same scriptures, out the same mouth that you claim that you, you adhere to? Man, you Christian don't hear to the words of Yahweh about Jimmy Alshah. You Christian, you Christian, you are you are here to your own damn doctrine. That's that, that what you're here to. And you Christians all sitting there all bugging out. Because your religion is finished. Your religion is over with for you for you damn devils, man. Especially you eat it's over with for you. It's over with for your docile mouth of religion of Christianity. Because uh, those don't know Christianity, Christianity started, started back with uh, the Roman Catholic Church. And the Protestant broke away from the Roman Catholicism. You know, they still don't know really because they still uh, uh, they still have Sunday worship. They still uh, follow the Son of God. And all the, other, all the other stuff that they do. You know? They, they still have their umbrella of Roman Catholicism. Shimmy how shot is not in that bitch. He's not in it. Because, because the scripture says that he, he does not dwell in temples made with man's hands. So so they right there because the notion think that you how my Shimmy how shot is in your church. He not. He's not in your church because I'm you know, gonna say it again, because scripture says that that he does not dwell in temples made with man with man's hands. I believe that's in the book of Acts. You know, Paul, you know, tell people that you don't make, you don't do well to make man hands. So, when you Christians out there saying that, you know, the most high is in these hard houses, you know, you know, you're lying on your house by shooting me out of shock. You know, that makes you a liar. Because, because, get what, you Christians also teach that the laws are done away with. You Christians also, also teach that you can eat anything you want to eat, you know, as long as you pray over it. You know, that's not the case of the Leviticus chapter 11 gives us our dietary law we think what we can eat, we think what we can't eat. That's if you're an Israelite. And you're the other nation, you you gonna eat what you want to eat anyway because the law's not pertaining to you. You know, the law's ain't pertaining to you. So you're gonna do what you wanna do regardless. But get what you still gonna be judged by y'all by shooting out the shop. If, if, if you're a Christian out there, your religion is finished. Uh, your, you know, the gig is bent up on on the Christianity. And then, then you know, these, these damn Edomites, you know, you can tell that they agents. You know, they plan out there. You can tell the spirit that they were agents out there uh, causing ruckus and trying to get the brothers to uh, uh, start a, uh, a, a physical uh, confrontation. They think they get the brother riled up, the brother won't just go back and forth with it, but, you know, the spirit of Yahweh, Shemmy, Al-Shah, was up for the brother, they 
continue to uh, edify the body and continue to feed feed the sheep or you how about sheep you have a shop. And, and one of the brothers, you know, he asked the question, he asked one one of them uh, Edomites, I believe it was Edomite, he asked him, okay, what is sin then? And, and, and you know, they couldn't tell him what sin is because, guess what? The spirit you have by Shem Yahweh Shah is not dealing with them. And for you, those who are awakened, you know, you're walking up to the truth. The sin is uh, the transgression of the law. You know, I, I believe you can find that in, uh, I believe it's in, in First John. It says, sin is, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. And, and, and uh, my question to you, Christian, is if the law was done away with, then how can, how can you be a sinner? And by your own logic, the law is done away with. You can't be a sinner if you don't have no law. You see? They, they tell Christianity, the religion is, is a hypocritical, hypocritical religion because the, the, the religion always contradicts itself. You know, it's always a big contradiction. Like I said, for how can uh, how can uh, Christianity, you know, well, Christianity, how can uh, you know, you a sinner, but you you said you also said that the law done away with, and you know, the self via tithe and offer. But you're a sinner. How can you be a sinner if you ain't got no law? You ain't got no law, statute, commandments to uh to do how you supposed to live life. But you're a sinner. You know, that they don't make sense. It's either you a sinner or you're not are you either you a sinner or you not. You get what the scripture also said we all sin and we fall short of glory high by shame out shot. You know, and you're an Israelite because the laws are only given to us. Law statute commands only give it to the Israelites anyway. You know, the, uh, the black Latino Native Americans to the twelve tribes of Israel. But uh but your nations, but but your Christians don't know that. Because you don't study the word like uh, uh Timothy first I believe second, first Timothy two or fifteen said the study showed ourselves prove unto your house. But you know, the Christians don't do that. Because y'all don't study anyway because you depend upon your pastor to 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 coon dance for you to entertain you per se. Man, y'all Chris, y'all ain't got spirit y'all about shit, y'all shout on you. And you don't, because if you did, you would adhere to what what his law statute commands for saying. And and he like you know the most how he did it with y'all. So I don't know. So y'all need to put the Bible down. You need to put the word of your house by shim y'all shot down. And you need to go on and enjoy your kingdom while you still have it. Because guess what? Uh, second Ezra 6 and 9 said, Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And, and and for you, that, you, you stupid Jakes out there, you, you find these damn Edomites. These are the same, same Edomites that, that went in and they invented the Bible to destruction group and, and, and they uh and they went and they took out the apocryphal. You know the apocryphal means hidden books. But these are the same these are the same either might call themselves, you know, call themselves Christians and saying that they love Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh shot it. You know, they don't love Yahweh because because uh the scripture said what have you done to do to declare my statutes? You know, all, all the eating might do is do wickedness. Cause Job 9:24 said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. You know, then also the scripture said, let faith to be shown be shown to the wicked, cause they 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 can't learn righteousness. You know, it's not in their DNA to be righteous; it's in their DNA to be wicked. That's why they came up with this uh wicked religion of Christianity. They came up with it because they they keep they uh want to keep you chased blind, man. They don't want you to know that, you know, they can't they can't receive salvation. They reject it. You know, they can't repent. But like I said, folks, you got you got these uh 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 you got these Christians out here, man. They really believe that Yahweh is dealing with them. Yahweh is not dealing with them no religion, period. If you're not an Israelite, if you're not a hopeful led one third, but I'm gonna say you if you're not an Israelite, the most high is not dealing with you, period. And if you're not the whole for letter one third and you're his like, 
and you, and you part of two thirds of you most high and dealing with you. And, and why I said it is it, because guess what? You know, it, if he wants you to have receive the knowledge of the truth, the wisdom of the word, he gonna allow you to he gonna he gonna give it to you. That most high do the same high side ain't dealing with you, get what? You're not gonna receive it. Okay, okay, uh, the apostle asked uh Yahusha, uh, why are you speaking unto them in parables? And Yahusha told him and said, it, it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, and unto them were not given. Why? Because because Yahusha didn't want them to get it. And this is gonna be a lot of you, it's gonna be a lot of you Jays out there. The most I ain't gonna want you to get the mysteries. You know, the brothers could go out on the street corner, they gonna teach till they blue and black in the face. Well your how your how shot ain't open up your understanding, you're not gonna get it. I don't care how, how, how much the brother can teach you. If your how shot ain't open up your understanding, get it, get what you're not gonna get it. Point blank period. And you, and you can go to Christianity all you want. Get what? Christianity don't have they don't have the cover of your by shim your shot. And you're gonna see in the in the in that day of uh of Jacob's trouble, you're gonna see that you caught up on the name of Cesare Borgiria, he ain't gonna come down and save you. Cause you damn Christian, I believe that that you ain't that, that you you're not gonna uh you're not gonna see no type of trouble. You believe that in some miraculous way, you how by shimmy how shot is gonna uh wrap you up wrap you up into the clouds and and and, and uh um, you know, he's gonna wrap you up in the clouds. And you're gonna some way, somehow, just miraculously get out of trouble. Out of Jacob's trouble. And and you're gonna be flown up that heaven somewhere. And and it's gonna be a three and a half or seven year period that the whole world, whoever didn't believe in Jesus, you know, they they're gonna uh they're gonna go through persecution. And then in in seven years, then then uh, Jesus is going to come back again and pick up those who believe in that three or seven year period. And you know, that, you, you know your religion gone when you say some crap like that. You believe some crap like that. Your house child going to come back one time. When he comes back, he come back for, for the hopeful of lit, and he come back for the one third. If you're not part of that hopeful of lit, and you're not part of that one third, you're going to be destroyed. Plain and simple. You, you, you're going to be destroyed via thermonuclear missiles. And, there, and, and there's no way of getting out of it. You know, these, these, damn, uh, you know, these damn Christians are, are bugging out, man. And they're bugging out to the point that, that they got to demonize the Hebrew Israelites. And, you can, and I'm going to tell you how stupid Jake is. You demonize your own people. And the same people you call them brother them saying eat might them saying eat might when it comes to uh, Jacob's trouble they the main they gonna the main one turn you in or they the main one gonna gonna get you killed. These, these damn devils don't care about you. And when when, it, when uh you know what say shit hits the fan get what they they gonna be turning you in and they gonna be they 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 gonna they, 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 you know what I'm saying hey they they probably be the main one that's gonna just kill you anyway. All that Christian love is gonna be, all that Jesus love is gonna be thrown out the window. Cause they might ain't gonna be all about survival. But you know, you don't hope for that for 144,000 and one third. You, you already know you how we're gonna have you back. There ain't no question about that. But the whole world gonna be panicking. Especially, you know, you so called Christian who believe in so called Jesus Christ. Y'all really gonna be panicking. Cause you ain't gonna have no cover in your house by shimmy your house shot on you whatsoever. You you will not have no type of cover. And you gonna and you gonna you gonna realize, you know, you gonna realize the true man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Moved out there on the street corner on the highways and byways, you know, teaching the truth. And and those who are uh, you know bringing out there YouTube that you gonna realize those were the real men of the Lord out there. But one and tell y'all that this place was gonna go down. Babylon the Great was going down, and you scoffing at them, and you trying to overtalk them, trying to talk about some, you know, 
you know, trying to over talk the, you know, the men of the Lord. Another thing that we really came to mind, you know, that these, these Christian did, you know, this so-called damn Edomite, uh, he calls it breaking down uh, St. John the first chapter. You know, I believe mean, around the first, starting the first verse, I went, I believe mean, around the uh, sixth or seventh verse, somewhere off now. He, he, he broke it down incorrectly. He broke it down incorrectly. He, 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 you know, matter of fact, you know, let me take that back. You know, Lockie, he didn't even break it down at all. He did not break down the scriptures. He did not do what Isaiah 28 and 10 said. You know, line, uh, precept must be on precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. He did not break down no scripture at all. He read, he read uh, John the first chapter and the first verse, you know, first through sixth verse, but, he, you know, he did not break down no scripture. He did not go in, in detail and explain what, what they were talking about. And you know, you know uh, why you Christians ain't got no cover? And a lot of times, uh, you all don't, can't even break down scripture because the understanding is not given to you. It was, it was not given to you, and it's still not given to you. But, but you Christians want to act like y'all, you know, the most high dealing with y'all. But guess what? He's not dealing with y'all. Period. Point blank, period. You know, and, and you Edomites, you already know that the Most High ain't dealing with you. He got a perpetual righteous anger towards you, for, and he said he got righteous anger towards you forever. So you know you ain't you ain't got you can't repent. So I don't know why you trying to declare his stat laws and statutes, and you don't believe him anyway, because in your mind, because in your mind. You believe that the law, statutes, and commandments are, are done away with. You the same people that took the apostle out out of the Bible because, because you come push your wickedness upon the children of Israel, so you had to take the apostle out, and you're going to pay for that. And in and, 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 uh, religion, Christianity, all it ever done, it, it, it just destroyed our people. It put our people deeper and deeper into sin. That's all Christianity ever did. Christianity never was for, you know, people y'all by Shimmy House Shop. It, it the only thing they did was destroy our people. But you got Jace out there, they, they push their Christianity heaven. And they believe that Yahweh by Shimmy House Shop is dealing with them in Christianity. He's not. If you don't repent and come out of Babylon and break, as it said in Revelation 18 and 4, you're going to receive what plays. Plain and simple. You know, you can't, you can't sit there and talk about me. You love your house, but you still in Christianity. You can't say you love your house, but you still send up eat poor shrimp and loft. You can't say that you love your house, and you sit and you stand up there in them holly houses. And, and, and you breaking every law, statute, commandment that Yahweh has, has given to his people. And I said, if you're not Israel, he ain't dealing with you. If you're not a hopeful that one third, he ain't dealing with you on this side. If you, if, if you call yourself still, or you know, you're a Christian, get what? Yahweh not dealing with you. Yahweh don't deal with religion. He only deal, deal with you. Keep his law, statutes, commandments, and you the other hopeful lit in the one third. If you're not part of that, he ain't dealing with you. Point blank, period. You know, and, that, and that's it for a lesson. You know, I wanted to talk about, you know, this live stream that, you know, the brothers in GMS out of South Carolina did, and how these, even my Christians, you know, these, these Christians call themselves think they were going to challenge. Man, you how about Shimmy House Shah? And they got they got confounded. And, and the spirit of you how about Shimmy House Shah was on the brothers out there at the GMS camp. So I want to give props out to you how about Shimmy House Shah and to the brothers at the GMS camp over in South Carolina for standing up for the truth. Because there was a spirit on them, spirit with them, and they and they came out victorious through spirit you how about Shimmy House Shah. You know, that's it for a lesson. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shah, 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 Shem
of honor to the apostles, the elders, and the prophets, and to the hopeful lit, and to the confusion of faith, and also to the archive of our part that I listen and learn. Until next time, Yahweh, shout out.